morning from Horner Woods. Come back here again. Uh, came back last year. Not managed to get back here since then because of the lockdown. Um, so come back for a walk up through, taking a different, slightly different route this time. We've come up uh, what the class is the the east east stream east estuary, um, walking up through there. Just uh, scouting for compositions at the moment. Uh, light is still fairly dull at the moment. Um, we've come up early just to scout, and then as the light breaks, then we can uh, start getting some shots, hopefully. So uh, stick with us and see what we get. Okay, first uh, composition of the day. Uh, looking at this waterfall here. Looking up through. And then we've got a bridge in the background. And the flow coming down through. It's quite nice. Uh, so I've got it composed using these two two boulders at the front and a bit of moss on uh, not sure if you can see them on the on the camera screen I'll just alter the actually the exposure you might be able to see in the bottom of the screen there so I've got the two those two as foreground interest so I've taken two shots uh, one focusing on them F11 to give them nice and sharp and then also one looking towards more to the back of the scene obviously the the middle of the scene which is this waterfall here is going to be slow exposure so that's going to be blurred anyway so i'm just concentrating on getting the foreground and the majority of the background all sharp in focus so i'll put put the picture up let you have a look uh, currently F11 and we are shooting at two fifths of a second ISO 64 Um, I always slightly underexpose shots on waterfalls, uh, sort of two stops or so under, um, because those the highlights in the in the bubbles in the in the water in the waterfall tend to blow out. So just underexpose slightly, and then you can adjust in post processing. It's green moss on some of these boulders down through here. Uh, it's um, really catching the catching the light nice. Um, done this composition now um, with this uh, this boulder here in the bottom left-hand corner on the third, and then the waterfall there sort of disappearing out the out the corner of the shot and it leads up through up through the um, the, the odd falls up through to the bridge at the back so um, looking quite nice in the back of the camera get a couple of shots and then walk on a bit further I think
day with me old buddy Martin. How's it going? First time we've managed to get together for quite some time. Definitely good to get out. Exploring a relatively new location again. I can say we're going a different route than what we did last time. Light's starting to get a bit brighter now, although it's a bit overcast, so no sort of beams of light coming through. But um, you've got to deal with what you got and make the most of it. This composition. I'm actually um, looking at those at the base of that tree to the left hand side there. There's some um, couple of couple of roots that are pushing down through into the water, hanging down. Got a bit of a dead fern hanging over the edge, which is just breaking up the green on the colour, and then the water flowing through the middle. As you can see, there is a bit of a subject that's spoiling the shot at the back there, but luckily enough, I've got the shots I wanted before he appeared. Wildlife, wildlife out in Horton Woods. This composition what I'm doing I've got the um, sh smoother water here leading up to um, that bridge bridge behind and a bit of a waterfall what I'm doing is I put a polarizer on and I don't know if you can see in camera um, getting a lot of reflection from the camera anyway but if I if I just turn the polarizer you'll see there's the highlights in the water there but by using the polarizer if I turn it around it will cancel out the highlights so get it to the best place and then what I'm doing is focusing on the stones in the bottom to give me a nice that will give me a nice foreground and um, and then the bridge the bridge behind will give me something in the back of the shot 
it's uh, yeah looking quite nice again Horton Woods nice to be out lovely place highly recommend it highly recommend it I think this is probably the biggest waterfall up through this, up through the Horton Woods, up through this valley. Certainly what we've come across so far. Um, it's very nice what I've done for a composition. I've set up with this overhanging reeds and this small little flow there in the foreground. And then leading back to the main waterfall and that branch that's in the pool at the back so I've exposure exposed or bracketed set for the foreground and for the and for the background as well as as well as focusing on the different areas so that I can blend them blend them both afterwards I've done compositions in portrait and landscape so see how they come out if they're okay I'll put them both up and let me know which one you prefer The sound of running water is just so relaxing. It takes your mind off everything. Just lovely. Okay, I'm gonna take the opportunity to thank you again for checking out my channel. Hope you like what you're seeing. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to keep up the latest content. Uh, if you enjoy it, give the video a thumbs up. That would be much appreciated. Much appreciated. And because it really does help my channel. And also drop a comment down below. It's always nice to get some feedback. So, um, thanks again for watching. So, until next time, take it easy. Mm -hmm.